Welcome to PPT Genet. So today we are going to learn how to create a spinning globe in Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. So for that we need a blank layout. Okay. Now in the next step I'm going to insert an image which I have already downloaded from internet. So basically an image of a spin. Beautiful. Now in the next step I'm going to insert an oval shape. Here. And I'm going to press the shift key on my keyboard and I'm going to drag my mouse button like this so that we have a perfect circle shape. Now I'm going to move it in the center. Okay, for that I can go align, center, and align center. Alright, so this is our circle shape. Now I'm going to press the control D and I'm going to move it up. Alright, now let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, perfect. Now, this is really very important step. Now, see here. Now, I'm going to select the circle first and then by pressing the control key, I'm going to select this image. And if I go to the merge shape and if I subtract, so basically I am subtracting everything. Now, see one more time. Now, if I select the image first and then I select the circle, and this time, if I go to the shape format option, okay, so, and now if I select the subtract, now, basically, we have created a circular hole in our image. So, now, I'm going to insert this image over here. Shift it a little bit. Perfect. Now, by pressing the right key on the shape, I am going to select the format shape option. And in the format shape, we'll go to the effect option. And in the effect option, we'll go to the 3D format, to the top level, to the bevel, round bevel, bottom bevel, to the top. Okay. And width, to the 250 points. And height, also to be 250. Perfect. Now we have a sphere. So we have basically converted a 2D circle to a 3D sphere. Now in the fill option, we'll set the transparency to 40 percent. Like this. Okay. Now in the next step, I'm going to insert the image of the world map. So here I have this image of the world map that I have taken from the internet. And I'm going to reduce its size like this. And now I'm going to shift it to this side. Okay, let's give it some animation. So, drop down menu, exit, float out. To which direction? To the left. Like this. But it's moving very fast. So, let's set the duration to the this side. And now, see the animation pane. Now I'm going to press the control D to make set copy of it so that we have the same animation set for the other map as well. And place the other one exactly on top of the previous one. For that, select both the images and in the shape format, align, center. Right? Okay, now we are going to select both the animations all together. And in the drop down menu, start with preview. Okay. Now, for the second one, in the animation, I want to delay it by three seconds. Right. And let's have a preview. So you can see basically the first image is flying out, followed by the second image. Like this. Okay. Now I'm going to select both images. I'm going to make a copy of them by pressing the control D and I'm going to place both the images to the other side. Alright. Now in the next step we will see what am I going to do. I'm going to select these images again and I'm going to change 
the direction to the right. Okay. Now here there is very important step. Okay. So I'm going to close this animation pane. I'm going to go in the picture format and I'm going to bring them down over here. And picture seven is this one. I want it to be at the top. Okay, and then picture nine and picture ten over here, then the oval, picture twelve and picture eleven. All right, now let's go again to the animation. Here in the animation, we'll go to the animation page. I'm going to select all the objects and I will click this drop down button. Effect option, timing, repeat until end of slide and then press ok and now let's have a trip 